Hey everyone, it's Helga or Pudding Fish Cakes here, and since it's Chinese or Lunar New Year, I made this polymer clay lucky cat, also known as Maneki Neko in Japan. It even has this little pivot joint so the arm moves up and down. This Chinese character is typically written on the cat, and since I unfortunately can't read Chinese, I asked my mom what it means. She said it means blessings, happiness, good luck, and good fortune. Thanks, mom! Also, stay tuned till the end of this video because I am doing yet another giveaway. Details at the end. Let's start with softening some white Palmer clay with your hands. Take some of that clay and roll it into a ball for the head. Roll out a tapered cylinder for the body and attach that to the head. Now for the legs, shape some clay into a tapered log and curve up the end for the feet. Attach them onto the sides of the body and press it in. Do the same for the arm, but a bit thinner. Take a needle tool or toothpick to indent the paws. Create triangle shapes for the ears by pinching the clay like so. Use a dotting tool to indent the insides of the ears and smooth them into the head. Flatten some red clay and cut out a strip for the collar. Roll out a little gold ball for the pendant. We'll be painting on the Chinese character later. Add some more little gold decorations onto the collar. Now for the arm that'll be moving, we're going to sculpt that separately first. Make sure that it fits with the body, but don't attach it on just yet. In order to make it able to pivot, we're going to insert a head pin so that it goes through the arm and out through the head like so. Take your head pin and, using pliers, fold the pin at the point where the wire would join the arm and the head. Carefully add on the arm and then the head to the wire almost like they're beads. Make sure the arm can still wiggle in that space. Now let's add on the face. I'm rolling out a thin strand of black clay for the eyes and whiskers and then using a dotting tool to help me attach and shape them.
use pink clay for the nose. Take some red clay and smooth that into the insides of the ears like so. And lastly, add on the mouth. Once you're happy with how that looks, it's ready to be baked. Bake your pieces using the instructions on your clay package. I'm baking mine at 270 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Make sure the arm is slightly separated from the body so that it doesn't merge while baking. Once that's out of the oven and has completely cooled down, let's draw on the Chinese character Qi the gold pendant. I'm just dipping a toothpick into some red acrylic paint for this. Now let's shape the eye pin to secure everything in place. Trim off any excess and using a pair of needle nose pliers, shape the eye pin. Once you're happy with that, add on a coat of glaze for a glossy shine. Let that dry and you're finished! I'm so happy with how this turned out, I hope you like it too. If you end up making your own, don't forget to share it with me on Instagram. Last week, I did a giveaway on my Simon's Cat videos, so without further ado, the winner to that giveaway is... Congratulations! If you are the winner, please email me, puttingfishcakes at gmail.com to claim your prize. If you didn't win this time around, I have some good news because I am doing another giveaway today. I am giving away everything that you see here to one lucky winner. All you have to do to enter to win is first, be subscribed to this channel, second, give this video a big thumbs up, and third, if you had some extra luck today, what would you use it for? Leave your answer in the comment section below. I'm really excited to read your answers. As always, the winner will be announced in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, good luck, and I will see y'all next time!